Welcome to the entertainment district. Name your pleasure, name your desire, and here, you can make it happen. So, tell me, what do you desire? Desire? What do you dream of when you're out there in the desert all alone? Whatever it is, you can have it here. I can help you make those dreams come true. So, let me take those shards and give you your desires. But, you know where to find me before you go back out into that big, lonely desert again. It's hard to find what makes you happy. And when you do, you should hold on to it. Make it real, even for a short time before you lose it forever. Sounds like you're the one who lost something. Are you all right? Of course. Yes, look, honestly, I I'm fine. I just want you to tell me what you want. I can make it worth your while. Really, think about it. We can make an arrangement. It sounds like you're trying to pay me. Well, I'm just saying we can come to an arrangement. You can pay, or maybe you can help me in return? You help me, I can help you. Do you understand? What help do you need? If... If I tell you, I'm trusting you with my life, but... Someone I know, Liam, he's in trouble. Iron Madison has got her claws into him. I mean... I mean, she owns him. She treats him like he's her slave. What do you mean, she owns Liam? Madison was the Duke's favorite for a while. It's over now, but she can still call on him. She might have made herself the Duke's plaything, but she likes to own people herself. Now, she's picked Liam, and if he refuses her anything, well, her last two playthings are dead, put it that way. Why do you care? Because... I care, okay? He has to get away from her. He has to get free. How can I help? You'll help? For real? I mean, you have to know there's only one way to help. Iron Madison has to die. Otherwise, she'll come after him. After you, after me. There's no other way to end this but to kill her. If you want her dead, you'll have to kill her yourself. If I could have done it myself, don't you think I would have done it an age ago? I wouldn't stand a chance. If you really want to help me, you have to kill her for me. It won't be easy to kill her. And I should warn you that killing her openly risks the Duke coming after all of us. You'll have to find a way to get rid of her discreetly. You must hear a lot of things. Pillow talk, you mean? Yes, I get to hear all sorts. Tell me, what do you want to know? Don't expect to get the information for free. I need some information. And I need shards. So let's make a deal. Doc's chems were stolen. Have you heard anything about them? Stolen chems? No, I don't think anyone's been talking about them. Let me know if you think of anything. Okay, I will. Did you mean to do that? Leo's nearby. Let's find him and see if he's got a copy of that contract. Advise caution. Hey! Stay right there. Is there a problem? That's what we're going to find out. You've got five seconds to start talking about the Alexa you've brought with you. If you're not worth something, 
You're not worth anything here. So tell me, do you want to own or be owned? Little Liam here is almost burned out. He needs replacing. How much are you worth? More than you could ever afford. I could own you as I own little Liam. I have a lot of property in this fort. The cage is off limits without my special permission. Time for you to move on. If you're looking for entertainment, try the entertainment district. It's in the name. What's the cage for? Asshole storage. Anyone who messes with the Duke ends up in there. If they're lucky. Bow to the Duke. Hear the Duke. Don't fuck with the Duke. That's our outlaw version of the Berserker's Laws. Have you thought of setting that to music? You should ask the Duke. He's famous for his sense of humor. Do you take many prisoners? Only where there's a prophet. Sometimes to serve as an example to others. But a slit throat and a shallow grave does that better. Frank over there is a cleric. He's serving as an example, and he's proving useful sometimes. He has a brain the Duke wants to pick. How did Frank get here? The cleric sent some of Calan's little soldiers over the border. They soon learned the Duke is more powerful than Calan. His friends ran. We took this one prisoner. So, who's more powerful, you or Calan? Ha! Ah, he prays to me. This cleric knows that. He knows he needs to give up his secrets. It's me, not Kalan, who decides the pain he feels and whether he gets to live. Or if I'll kill him for doing something stupid like trying to escape. He and Liam, they know me well. Oh, yeah. And if this cleric wants to get you involved in anything, don't listen. <laughs> he promised. A set of shards to Bat, and that dipshit of a runner believed him. Bat lasted three days in the cage. Weakling. From what I've heard, you haven't got the best reputation. Is that right? That's just because I'm the one who is prepared to get my hands dirty getting things done. So speak up. Who has been badmouthing me? Come on, open your mouth and speak. Which skin flap has been opening their mouth, and what do they say? I'm not telling you a thing. You think you can withhold information from me? I'll break every damn bone in your body. You like to talk, don't you? You think I'm all talk? Wow, have you got it wrong. Enough talk. Let's get this over with. Another asshole, another corpse. You are dead. <laughs> Oh! 
You're a prisoner here? Only in body. My mind and spirit are free. I won't waste words on an unbeliever. Kalan will punish you all. How were you captured? What does that matter? Unless you were sent here by my legate. I wasn't sent. Then my words would be wasted on you. I have no reason to tell you anything. Don't think I'll give you their coordinates or tell you anything else about my brothers in Kalan. So, leave me. Hey, you. Do you have a few shards for me? Analyzing voice stress levels and pitch. I recommend making an appropriate donation in the expectation of future assistance. I couldn't have put it better myself. Iron Madison is dead. Dead? Dead for real? Dead and never coming back? Oh. You don't know how long I've hoped to hear those words. If there is an afterlife, I hope she's burning in it. Liam is free. Maybe now we can be together. Thank you. Thank you for helping us. Here. The reward you were promised. I hope you find your way. No one deserves to be alone. Haven't you heard? Iron Madison is dead. No, no, the boss would never let that happen. Whatever he thinks, it's true. Madison's dead. Yes, yes, you're free. We can be together. We can? Does that mean you're not working for Chloe anymore? You know I can't leave her, but that isn't important. Not for us. Madison is dead. That is all that matters, Liam. That means we get to decide about us. I have to go now, but I'll be back as soon as I can. We can talk. We can plan the future. Let's do that. I'll see you later. Hey, you. You're new here. I don't know if anyone's told you, but the Duke, our glorious leader, King of the Desert, is raising taxes on his territory. And I... I am here to collect them. So, what has that to do with me? Look, I've told the Duke a thousand times I'm not the guy for this. But if I don't get him the shards, he'll put a rope around my neck. Or my wife will. She'd do it for him. So do a guy a favor and hand over the money. After all, it's better than me and you ending up as food for the jackals. Your wife would hang you? She wouldn't want to. No. No, she's a lady of integrity. I would never say anything bad about her. It would be the Duke. The Duke would insist. 
My wife is a wonderful lady, calm, majestic. She'd be a queen of the desert if there wasn't already a king. The Duke, our glorious leader, king of the desert, and lord of the outlaws. So are you going to pay? Listen, maybe you can ask me about it later? Now is not the right time, okay? You're asking me to pay to be here? Everyone has to pay tribute to the Duke, our glorious leader, king of the desert, and lord of the outlaws. So will you hand over the shards now? It'd be better for both of us. Really, you don't want to explain not paying to the Duke. There's no tax. This is a con. Why would I risk my neck to lie? I told you I don't want to be here. I know, I know you're looking at me and not feeling that threatened if you don't pay. But the Duke stands behind me. Mess with me and you mess with the Duke. And no one here is going to let that happen. Here, take the shards. That's... that's not enough, I'm afraid. That's only half the amount I need that the Duke needs for the tribute. I know it feels like a lot, but I didn't make the rules. That was the Duke, our glorious leader, king of the desert, and lord of the outlaws. There. Is that enough? Yes. That will make the boss feel a lot happier. I'm sure that's enough tribute to keep you free from another visit from me. Your wife is dead. Fuck! Really? Then I'm free. If you're lying, she'll kill me for even thinking it. Oh, let it be true. I don't know what your part in this was, but thank you. I am now free. I'm free. And I can finally be with Cindy. 